Namaste, my beautiful beings of light. I'm back for another message. I am called to release this video. It's going to be very triggering. So please, if you are triggered very easily and you are not healed, um, I, got, I advise that you do not um, watch this video. But uh, I have to talk about this because it's happening. At this moment, and it's about sexual abuse. Sexual abuse among our children, the predators that are in your family, the predators that are in the school system, the predators that are, are government officials, the predators that are in police officials, the, in our, in the church, um, even our own family members, your husband. Let me take the message. Okay, but this is something that we need to be very careful of. If you have children, please protect your children if you care. Sexual abuse. There is sexual abuse hotline. If you think, if you have been sexually abused by a family member, by a friend, by anybody that you are connected to, Please do not hold back. Please do not, do not protect these predators who are harming and hurting not only you, but others. <clears throat> they don't want me to talk. <laughs> but other children. The hotline number is 1-800-656 Four six seven three. If you have been abused of sexual assault, the national hotline is one eight hundred. One eight hundred. I'm sorry. Let me go. I just had it. One eight hundred. They always take it away. These. One eight hundred six five six forty six seventy three. Domestic violence one eight hundred seven nine nine safe. Any other crime service? Any other crimes that you are in need? You call the crime center for victims of crimes. The hotline number is eight five five for victim eight four. 2846 as a child myself I was a victim of sexual uh, it, um, what is it it's, it was molestation it wasn't um, I was touched I was not penetrated there are many who have been sexually assaulted in that area at young ages as well I worked with women with children who had their own fathers sexually abuse their own children at a very young age And it was very difficult for these children to sleep, to eat, to socialize. If you think your child has been assaulted, please speak to your child. Any adult at this moment, 18 or over, 
If you have been touched, you get dreams. Reoccurring dreams of somebody touching you. That may be a sign that somebody in your family, someone that your mom, your dad left you to be taken care of has done something that was not nice to you. Be open, seek help, talk about it. Do not ever be ashamed. You did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. There's healing need, there's healing that needs to be done. People who have been, there are statistics of people who have been sexually assaulted, sexually assault others because their trauma it has not been healed. They have not seeked the help that they need. My Father, the Most High, God, your loving God, is asking you to forgive those who have hurt you. Seek the help that you need. Protect yourself and protect your loved ones. Any woman who brings in a new man into your home and, and you have kids. We have to be very careful of the people that we encounter. We don't know their backgrounds. They can say whatever they want to say. If you're not healed, you're not able to identify deceptions within that person. I know I experienced a con man in my life. Took advantage of me, not my children. Not my children, my children were grown. But yes, he took advantage of my children because he did the hoodoo, he did the voodoo, he did crimes to try to hurt and harm my children. even have their own children taken away from. My daughter's children put her in jail. I know. But I forgive. I don't hold on I'm healed from all traumas and I want people to awaken, to understand that this is happening close in your homes, in your community, in your workspace, within your own partners, within your own self. We need to talk about this. We need to be open. And let our children know that we are there for them. We are going to protect them. We have to speak of these traumas that is going on that is put on TV, that is put on cartoons, that is put on game video games to manipulate the mind of our youth. To have them trust strangers that are trying to prey on them. Even through the gaming systems that they speak through the 
the mic, whatever, connections, the web, we have to be very careful. You have to mind your children. You have to make sure that there's adults that are behind these games, preying on your own children to pay for more games, using them to use your credit card, okay? To take your identity and steal. This is a, a scam, a scheme used by many industries. The music industry, Google, Google Gaming, Xbox, they're all connected. Governments, doctors, lawyers, trust and believe nobody. Nobody. Priests, nobody is, is being overseen as being I just have to say that we have to be very discerning to what is going on at this time. There are many dark entities out there hacking, tracking, stealing energies from the children who are innocent. Putting guns, giving them drugs, seducing them in different ways to prey on them. Be very careful. Once again, speak, talk, don't ever be afraid. You're not alone in this. There is help. There is help. There is people that will help you. You gotta be very, very careful. Of the energies that you have around. That's why we need to heal. I do have a email. If you need to email me, my email address is divine lowercase d i v i n e royalty r o l r o y a l t y 2023 at myyahoo.com. This is for serious. This is serious. I don't play. I know the energies who are trying to play in my energy and I will call you out. My services are for real. And I will listen, not judge you. If you need an open ear, to assist you and guide you, I am here to offer my services to you. I have worked in trauma. I dealt with trauma myself. And I'm totally healed. And I am connected to the Most High. <laughs> and I will never ever 
disclose anybody's information ever everything is confidential I do have my spiritual healing session if that's something that you will like to utilize 45 minutes but for those who are ashamed who feel guilty who feels that you don't have anyone you do have people that love you you do have people who care about you you do have people who will listen without judging you it's your choice to make that step choose to heal and not be in anger and not be in pain for you are not going to grow spiritually you are only blocking your blessings remember we all are not perfect we came here to heal many of our traumas that we have endured in the past life and what we have endured in this life. Learn, grow, and release without attachments and teach others. That's the only way. Not hurting one another. Being there for one another having compassion for one another, not judging one another. But having a space where you are able to release and I'm telling you, just getting that load off of your heart and off of your mind is a breath taker it's like you are rebirthing yourself all over again finding peace within yourself to release everything that is going through your your mind which you should not be having, you should just be enjoying life and creating a new, a new life and releasing the old, transforming yourself. I just wanted to come on and just deliver that message because I know many are going through this and fear talking about it. Don't ever be ashamed. Don't ever be ashamed. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. Release yourself. Free yourself from the bondage that has been placed on us. through systems that like to oppress humanity. Don't ever fear man. <laughs> Don't ever fear anyone, for fear is just an illusion. That's how they keep you trapped into the cycles of abuse, of power and control and systems of unhealthy relationships of mind control spiritual control they don't want you to see yourself as a very powerful being that you are 
you are very powerful. You are a child of the most high. And you have to believe that. You have to go back to him in order to be free from the bondage of slavery that has been cast on humanity. It starts with you. And not blaming others and releasing those who have hurt you. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. I know. I've been there. I know. It was. I know. I don't talk because I just talk. I talk because of the the experiences that I have endured in my lifetime that has helped me heal and have faith in the most high that everything that I went through was because I had to go through, was because I needed to learn, was because I needed to heal, was because I needed to go back to connect to my heart where my father is at, the creator. And I continue in the cycle of abuse that has been placed upon all of us. We're not perfect, but we are here to learn and release and say thank you and have compassion. I gave the hotline numbers to the abuse centers Once again, sexual assault and harassment, 1-800-656-HOPE. That's 4673, 1-800-656-4673. There is a national helpline for male survivors services. Um, Number is 855-897-5910. Military, the, I don't know, there's a number here, but domestic and dating violence, 800-799-SAFE. If you are dating somebody who is violent towards you, There is uh, another hotline, 866-331-9474. And any other crimes, 855 for victims, that's 855. Four eight four twenty eight forty six. And you could always go on the web, the website, Google, any services that you need, or on your insurance card, there should be a talk to your medical provider, your mental health provider, a friend, somebody close that can help you. I leave you now. Thank you, and I hope you get the help that you deserve. I love you all, and stand up. Take control of your life. Do not let anyone control you. Release yourself from this bondage. It's okay. It's okay, don't be afraid of your predators. They're just like you and me. Believe me, God sees everything and they know your heart and he knows your heart. Call upon your angels and your ancestors. They're there to guide you. 
I love you all. Namaste. Have a blessed day. I love you. Thank you for listening to me. And you have my email. I love you all. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.